previously. Oh, it's a relatively short document, uh, just two pages long. I will skip over the official dictations and just sum up the main message. Okay. Oh, um, a Hannah Steele is the mother of Theo Steele. This is a drama series titled I Never Saw It Coming, produced by Donna Bell. Enjoy. Good morning. This is Bryce reporting for CNN. On breaking news, last night at Jeff Bar, there was a mass shooting. 16 people got shot, 12 are confirmed dead, while four are fighting for their lives. Among the four is a well-known businessman, an international conglomerate as CEO of a music company, Mr. Radebe, who is also known as Bill the Great. The authorities are currently investigating the matter. More on the story on top of the hour. Rice reporting for CNN. Finally, you are here. Tell me what's in the report. Tell me the full report, please. Oh, sir. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I caught him. I caught him, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. I caught him. I shot him. Yeah. I shot him, sir. <laughs> yeah, I caught him. I caught him, sir. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I caught him. Your Chapora, that you shot him? Wow, I'm gonna reward you. <laughs> so, tell me, are you so sure? 
Oh yes, oh yes, I'm so sure, sir. <laughs> I did it, I did it, sir. I caught him and I shot him. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm sure, I'm sure, definitely sure, sir. <laughs> Good day, this is Ms. Bryce reporting for CNN. On sad news today, John Paul Mary Clinic has confirmed the death of a legend, an icon pioneer, Mr. Sia Bill Redebe, who suffered gunshots at Jeff Bar last night. It has been reported that he suffered 11 bullet wounds. Sincere condolences to the Redebe family and everyone who knew him. Miss Bryce reporting for CNN. Ah, I'm I'm waiting for this bastard's body. I want to fly with it. <laughs> now, now do one thing. Let's take his body from the hospital and I will fly with his body to Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Do one thing. Do as soon as possible. Are you listening, Tibora? Do as soon as possible. <laughs> Goodbye, Billy. <laughs> Oh, all right, all right, sir. <laughs> say no more. Say no more. I say, say no more. <laughs> consider it done. Uh, consider it done, sir. I will do exactly as you say. <laughs> say no more, sir. Consider it done. Oh my goodness, I need to get a hold of Elizabeth. I need to get a hold of Elizabeth. <sighs> Answer your phone. Answer your phone. Oh damn it. Voicemail. Elizabeth, 
it is Nicole. When you get this message, give me a call. It's about, it's about taking it to the grave. Thank God. Where were you? We came here with Maya. We didn't get you at home. Where were you? I went to the hospital to look for you because I got a call saying that I, I shouldn't come to the show. Honey, who called you because we were waiting for you? Okay, I got a call from my cousin, Kasim Musa, saying that I shouldn't show up at the show. Are you talking about your terrorist cousin, Kasim Musa, from Saudi Arabia? Yes, there. That's who I'm talking about. So he's the one who caused this shooting there? Yeah, the call was that uh, he called and said that something bad was going to happen, so I shouldn't show up there. I tried calling you, and also Nicole tried calling you too. I'm sorry, Han. I switched off my phone when this show started. Let me just go and check my messages. You have one new message. Main menu. To listen to your messages, press one. To re First, new message. Received today at 2.52 a.m. Honey, where's my car keys? I have to go and see Nicole right now. But baby, it's not even 6 a.m. yet. Can this wait? No, baby, it can't wait. I have to go. Can you please move your car for me, baby? Mr. Radebe. Radebe? Nurse? Nurse? Yes, sir. Where is Mr. Radebe? Um, I don't know, sir. He was here just now. What do you mean you don't know? The guy was seriously shot. Don't you got paid for doing your job? But, sir, I... No, but. Go and call the matron. Check all the cameras. Hey, Mr. Jeff Brown, come this way. Come this way to my office. Yeah, bro. Hey, I'm I'm here. Yep, I'm I just still can't believe what's going on, bro. How are you? Yes, I'm fine, Jeff. Now that I see you, I'm definitely good now. I've been so worried ever since I saw the news. Four people critically injured, 12 dead. How are you though, Jeff? Are you fine? Uh, bro, uh, yeah, 16 persons got shot and four persons are in critical conditions, you know, including my best friend. Yeah, uh, Bill and Dexter. Um, but uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah. Yes, Jeff, I heard that your business partner, Mr. Bill Radebe, also got shot. Yeah, let me tell you, man, I never really saw eye to eye of the man, but I'll never wish him dead, hey? But tell me, though, Jeff, what actually happened? Do you know the shooters? Eh, I don't, I have no idea, have no idea who they are, but, you know, um, I was actually having a party by my bar, and, you know, a couple of my friends were there, like I said, Bill, um, because, you know, he was the one that, you know, told me that he wanted to, uh, 
put on some show by my bar and I gave him the okay and and um uh I guess that was when hmm. hair hair went down. Thank you, sir. You know, Jeff, I can't imagine what you're going through right now. It might it must be terrible, man. You know, I'll be honest with you, when I saw the news, my blood just ran cold. You know, you must really be experiencing some trauma right now. Your business is affected. Like, yeah, man, you know, I can even see it in your eyes and in your voice, man, that you're really having a terrible, terrible time of it. I'm truly sorry about that, Jeff. I mean, I didn't expect this, bro. You know, especially to see uh, now that my business is all down and I need some income, bro. I mean, like, yo, I have wife, kids. Come on, man. I need, I need something. I need to go back on my feet, bro. Uh, do you know how many years I've it took me actually to, to create this kind of stuff and to see it go up in a couple of minutes yes jeff uh i understand your pain you know which brings us to the business of the day um firstly we're going to have to prepare an official statement for the police and then, uh, let me just yes, have a cup of tea. And let me just get my case file out of here. Right, okay. So yeah, we're going to have to prepare an official statement. And this statement will then also be used in court for if the case gets there. And uh, if the perpetrators are caught, uh, the case will definitely end up in court. And uh, yes, of course, this will also be filed uh, as a criminal case. Uh, I know that the police uh, probably already uh, got a prompt to statement from you uh, at the scene. Uh, but yeah, we still going to have to prepare an official one. Uh, which will have my signature on it, as I said. Um, <clears throat> right, secondly, we will then have to prepare a document for the insurance company. We will then write up a list of all the damages that have been done. And uh, uh, like your furniture, sound system, ETC, you know. Uh, so, yeah, thirdly, we will then also just get my pen yeah so thirdly we will have to prepare a document for the national brewery services uh, as your license is uh, revoked now uh, so that's also another process that we're going to focus on but uh, let me just hold you jeff um you know your business will be an operational for a while because uh, the police will take some time as they will st as they still you know collecting some evidence there at the scene and interviewing eyewitnesses and i'm sure they will also be requesting footage of your cctv uh, camera soon so yeah it might take a while as the insurance company will also have to you know uh refurnish you and all that and then your license will have to be uh reinstated and uh yeah the police will also have to finish that investigations as well so all those factors will you know impact on the time period that it will take for you to be operational again but uh, yes, we will do our best now by preparing these documents to the best of our ability. So, um, yeah, uh, can we start? All right, all right.
Let's go. All right, Jeff, let's then start with the official statement. Mm, yeah, basically what I want you to do for me right now is just tell me everything you remember about last night according to the best of your memory. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, Jeff. Yeah, so everything you remember according to the information already gathered so far, um, we got 12 people dead and um, four critically injured. <clears throat> so, yeah, and also on the TV footage of the news there, I saw that it was around 12 midnight, uh, 1 a.m. or so, yeah, around there. Um, and also, uh, uh, according to the footage I saw on TV as well, it was a whole lot of shooting. So, how many people are actually involved there, you know? And also, yeah, I remember now I noted it down here. There was also a performance that was taking place at the time. Uh, so, yeah, basically, just tell me everything you remember about last night. Oh, yeah, like you said, you know, uh, it was about one thirty. Uh, female was on a stage, and um, about five persons walked up and started spraying. Like you said, 16 persons, 12 dead for in critical conditions so um yeah and like i said there are about five persons with machines all right mr brown we're doing good so far um so i really apologize for stimulating those painful memories of last night um, do you mind just talking me through your actions of last night? Um, what did you do first thing when you saw the perpetrators walk through the door? And then also what did you do when you saw them start shooting spring bullets all over? What was your immediate reaction to everything? Well, you know, I... Uh saw them walk in i thought they were part of the the whole team so i didn't you know think of anything until bullets start spraying ran off try to get my staff to be in one one place so i could count them off and stuff um at least two of my members uh are, they're dead out of the 12 so um two females so yeah that's what i did and that's how i knew that two of my members were missing mr jeff brown i really applaud your courage for being so open with me about everything even though you're going through a tremendous amount of pain right now I really understand and I really thank you for your clarity. And um, yeah, so now what we will do is that uh, I will then accompany you right now to the police station to submit this statement. So yeah, as you want to do everything very urgently, we can go now. So yeah. <laughs> Why are you waiting outside the hospital? I thought I'd had to get you inside. No worries, my love. I was discharged like 15 minutes early, so I decided to come outside of the hospital and take some fresh air whilst I wait for your arrival. Oh, um, Pam is actually waiting for us in the car. 
but like how is your hand honey how is your hand is like there anything else don't don't you feel any pain apart from your hand well the bullet passed through my hands so there was not any shrapnel or anything that's left in my hands but it pains i can't hold anything for too long you know before it starts to pain me oh sorry honey i'm sorry i'm so sorry okay um anyway we're almost near the car there's pam by the way hi pam how are you doing uh, love can you hold my hands a little high it still hurts of course i'll hold your hand honey i hope that doesn't hurt but that's just me telling you that um I hope your hand just gets better. Okay? <sighs> Much better. Well Hi Dexter, I am good. How are you? Well, Pam, as you can see, my hand still hurts, but it will get better. The doctor said I need about two months or so before I can have the full flexibility in my hands again. I am so sorry about the accident, man. Shame, your hair must be very painful, but you get better. What the hell are you doing here, Connor? What are you even doing here? Are you here to mock me? Anna. I'm your twin sister, for goodness sake. I just came to check up on you guys. And given the fact that the bill issue has come out, I just came to give my support. What kind of question is that, though? I'm your sister. You call yourself my sister. And you went behind my back and slept with my husband. And you call yourself my sister. Know the meaning of a sister? Do you even know the definition of a sister? Yeah, the truth is out. So now you have the guts to tell me the bill issue is out. Yes, of course it's out. I found out. And I happen to be the one that ever raised your damn child. How could you do this to me? How could you do this to me? Anna, please. Obviously, this was not the best way for you to find out. Obviously, it was beyond my hands that you would end up raising a baby I made with your husband. But believe me when I say it was not my intention. I don't know if you believe this, but forgive me. It was truly not my intention. And look at how much of a big and responsible man Theo has turned up to be. I mean, we should be celebrating the fact that he's a grown man and my twin sister, the other half of me, contributed in him becoming all of that. And uh, I don't, I really don't know what to say. I don't, I, I really, I'm so sorry. I don't even know where to begin. It wasn't my intent and it only happened once. I mean, yeah, maybe it was one time too many, but it happened once, trust me. Hannah, <laughs> <laughs> listen to yourself. <laughs> I don't even know whether to cry or whether to laugh. This is not the best way for me to find out. So it was the best way for me to even find out. I thought we made a pact, sisters by chance and friends by choice. We were gonna be best friends forever, share everything together. So you went, I give it. <laughs> yes, I raised you all on my own, without you or Bill. So none of you have the right to claim Theo. He's mine. And yes, Theo's victory is my victory. How can you do this to me? How can you even do this to me? 
You tell me sorry. Do you think sorry is gonna fix everything? It happened once. Oh my goodness. Sorry, she wake me up from this nightmare. Anna, it's just there's no other best way to explain this to you, okay? I also didn't want it to be like this. We are still best friends. We are still we are still little Hannah and Anna. We are still our daddy's two twin girls. Please let this little thing was Bill not hamper our relationship. I'm grateful for you raising CEO to become the man that he is. Look at him. He's a well accomplished young man who's about to get married. And I mean, there's no other way for me to thank you. I'm out of words. I don't know what to say, okay? And yes, it did happen once. I don't even look at Bill like that. I was young, okay? I was naive. You know how much of a sweet talker your husband is. And I mean, I was at a stage in my life where I was confused, okay? I don't know, I'm sorry. And I'm so, please forgive me, I'm sorry. How much of a sweet talker he is. Yes. And I thought my sister was gonna escape it. Yes, but I didn't know she did it. She ended up falling into his traps. But it's okay. Speaking about Bill, you may go find his cops and continue from where you both started. Because his cops is missing in the hospital. I don't even know where the freaking cops in. I don't even know. But you know what, Hannah? Get out of my house. Get out of my life. And get out of Theo's life. We don't need you. Get out. Anna, please, let's not allow this to break our bond. I'm still your twin sister. Please, let's just talk about it. I'm sure we can find an amicable solution to all of this. I know it's not the best situation. I wouldn't have liked it to be like this, even if I was the one who was directly affected. But please... I'm begging you, sister. Let's talk about it. Please. You know what, Hannah? Our bond was broken. The day you slept with Bill. Our sisterhood was over. The day you slept with Bill. So, Hannah, get out of my house. Get out of my, get out of my house right now. I said, get out of my house. Hey, Tipora, tell me the good news. Where's the body? Tell me all the report. Hey, hey, sir, hey, sir. Thank you uh, for welcoming me again. Uh, what I can tell you for now, sir, is that we can't find the body. I looked for it everywhere. I looked for it everywhere. I went there to a hospital and I didn't find nothing. The body was in there. The body disappeared, sir. Everyone there in the hospital, they are looking for it. The doctors and nurses, the hospital management team, they are all looking for the body, but they can't find it. I also can't find it, sir. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened, but I'm sorry, sir. You can't find the body? What are you talking about? Tepora! I am the one who have given you the food and shelter. You don't know what we did with the Janjuas. You don't know what we did with that African-American journalist. You don't know how I killed him. This is your last chance, Tebora. You know what? The person who is 
teaching you all of this. The person who is giving you food and shelter is equal to God. I am your bloody God. And remember, this is the last time for you. And if you don't find the body, I'll kill you with my bare hands. Remember, I am your fucking bloody God. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, boss. Yes, I know. I know, boss. I know. I know all of that. I know all of that, boss. I was there. I was there when we killed that fucking journalist. I was there. I was there when we killed all those people, sir. I was there. I was there, sir. Please, sir, don't do that. Don't do that to me, sir. Please. Please, please, please. I'm begging you. I'm begging you, sir. Please don't do that to me. Listen here. Listen here, sir. Just give me one more chance. Just give me one more chance. I will prove to you, sir. I will prove it to you. Please, sir. Just give me one more chance. You know what I will do now? I will just form a team, a good team, a good one, good, good team. And we'll go out there and find the body and bring it to you, sir. Like it or not, whatever, whatever, whatever it takes, whatever happens, I don't care, sir. I don't care whatever will happen out there, but I'll make sure that I form some team and we will go there and find the body. I promise you, sir. I promise you. Please don't do that to me. Please don't do that to me, sir. Hello, Kasim Musa. And your amateur friend. What? Settle down. It's like you've seen a ghost. Anyways, this is my right hand man, Razor. Who's about to make a couple things clear for you? Because clearly there's certain things you don't know about the game. Razor, tell them. Look here, bitches. Death cannot kill those who will not fucking die.